Well, here we go, guys. It's High Rider here with another episode of Playing Games, and today I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is a game mode called Walker, Walker Assault. Basically, our aim is to stop the ATATs from capturing our positions or destroying our positions. Oh, well, that was quick. Enemy turret. Oh. Almost got him. Enemy turret again. Oh. We've activated the uplink. Oh, got him! Almost got him. Got him! Get wrecked. There we go. Got him. Oh, that other guy was failed to get him, so Continue I can get him. On the walker. Our boat hit confirmed. Our missile is rocking on. Oh no. Missile coming in on your position. Just... Maintain your attack. Ensure the uplinks stay offline. <laughs> so there are taunts that you can do to other players. Now one thing I really love about how what they've done with this game is that they've kept really genuine to the Star Wars universe. Everything is on par with the movies, all the sound effects, all the, the music, the effects. They haven't gone and on in their own tangent, they've actually kept to the to the movies, which is great. You're basically, you're playing the movie, which is pretty awesome. A rebel y -wing has Boom! A Got him. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, the graphics look pretty spectacular. They've done a really good job doing that. The music and sound effects are really well done as well. Um, obviously, there's not really any single-player mode or anything like that. It's all mostly online. So there's no campaigns or anything to work through. Uh, which wouldn't be too bad. It'd be good to see a, a couple of campaigns, but... Uh, you know, that might come in the future, I suppose. Gotcha. But all in all, it's a fantastic game. Oh. The good thing is, there's plenty of game modes to choose from as well. Um, the only unfortunate thing, uh, which has seemed to have proved recently, however, is the uh, servers. It seems really difficult to join any nearby servers. Uh, it's just, it'd be, I'm sure it'd be fine if you're in the US, however, for us Aussies, oh, 
bugger. Uh, for us Aussies, there wasn't any servers available, so um, to circumvent that, what I did was I used the VPN up to the US and voila, connecting up to the US servers and worked fine. Now, if there was one issue I was going to pick on, it would be something to do with the uh, server browsers. There's not really any way to, I guess, necessarily choose what servers you want to be able to connect to. Um, there's no way to be able to you know, choose a hosted server or anything like that. So basically, you're at the um, mercy of actually being able to find uh, at the mercy of being able to actually find a server which can be painful sometimes so uh, it would be good to see them introduce a way to browse the servers and um, have more access in terms of you know, how and where you play similar to the sort of style that Battlefield does I mean I know this isn't Battlefield um, but the way that they do their server browsers is pretty good so I'd like to see something like that. Rebel uplink mark. Proceed. He shot first. <laughs> cool. Any of you Star Wars fanboys will get that one. <laughs> Head was camouflaged. So as you can tell in these game modes, you have the option to, um, if you find the token the for it, play as a hero, and they can include, um, you know, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, those sort of things. Um, basically, you're pretty hard to beat. You can still be killed, um, but you've got a lot of health, and you're fairly, uh, you're fairly tough as well. Get down, you bastard. Um, so yeah, they're fairly hard to beat. And they have the ability of, you know, like, have a lightsaber or a powerful weapon. Or something of the likes. Damn it. Why do I keep picking up these probe droids? I don't want probe droids. Oh, no. Walk is down. We lost. We're doing well, but we lost. Well, there you go. That is Star Wars Battlefront.